Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, so I'm here with Jen, and we're on our way to Sofia, which I think is the way you pronounce it. I don't know. They've been saying it like this on the train. Oh, okay. <laughs> and yeah, we're on the night train. It's about 11 o'clock, a little past 11 now. We finished doing the French video, and we're doing the English one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you around. around. Yeah. Uh, so Jen, yeah, is sitting on the bottom bunk. There she is. And yeah, and then there's the top bunk over here. And so I think in, in a little bit, we're gonna pull this down. I'm sorry, pull this down, and then in there, there is a little bed. And that I'm probably gonna take top bunk just because I'm cool like that. And then Jen can take bottom bunk over here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> and then over here, we have a little sink, we have a little soap, and a little garbage. And we have a little mini fridge. We have a TV and a mini fridge. It's it's all good. Yeah, pretty I don't know swanky. What the TV does. Not, not the TV works. Yeah, we haven't really tried it or. I don't think there's any buttons either. <laughs> yeah. they, they decide whether or not the TV oh, works. Oh, there is one. Oh. I haven't done anything though. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we are just here to talk about what. Yeah, we want to talk about Istanbul. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know where to start now. So. On the last video, you started with best dish tour. Right. So, but I think that's one of the first things we did. Like we it came is. into, uh, well, Jen came into to meet me in Istanbul. I think the first day we went with best day, and so it was a yeah. strange tour um, because it was about uh, the whole deal. Like the, we found it on Airbnb experiences, mm -hmm. and it was she would be our friend for the day. Which felt a little strange to be like, we're going to pay this We're person. paying her to be our friend. Yeah, yeah we're paying her We didn't her pay her a lot though, so it was just True. like a little bit. We, we did tip her at the end, I just realized too. I don't think you're... I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, know if you tip yeah, Airbnb either. experiences, but anyway. Um, so yeah, we, we paid her to be our friend for the day, and that's how she described it. She's like, you're not going to learn anything historical from me. I'm not here to talk to you about like she... And I think she described it like, if you see a mosque and you're like, ooh, who built this? She will tell you, I don't know. Like, yeah. It's not, it's not my deal. Um, but yeah, so uh, she was just, I'll take you around, sh show you good places to eat, uh, show you fun things to do, show, uh, share stories with me, uh, share stories with you. Yeah. And it was very much like, you'll share stories with me, I want to know more about you. And mm -hmm. So yeah, so we met her and then we just went around. Uh, I think my favorite, I'll, I'll ask your favorite okay. after. Or do you want to share your favorite now? No, 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 that's fine. Okay. Uh, my favorite was so at the very beginning of the tour or towards the beginning she goes and she's like hold on I have to buy cat food and in my head it was like okay well she's buying cat food for her cats yeah no it was not for her well I guess it for her cats because it's all the street cats every time she saw a street cat she would go and like put some food on the floor and the cat would just like wander about and eat the, <laughs> eat the cat food mm -hmm. and yeah she just constantly did that like throughout the tour and she, she like bragged about knowing where all of the good stray cats were <laughs> to feed them too. Because she does it every weekend when she does like the Airbnb experience. Yeah. So we, we went and fed a bunch of cats and then it ended up, I think the, the last time we fed cats, we, she finished her food there, was on a like the staircase. And I think I got a picture or two of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there were about seven cats, I want to say. And she, she just gave them all food and we were just like hanging out there and just seeing the cats eat and uh, I think a couple of them like went under your legs. Yeah, they kept going underneath my leg. Like I don't, it was a weird obstacle course for them. <laughs> but even the shy one, I think the ginger. The right? ginger, like the, the partial ginger that I liked, mm. that every, like anyone else went near to it and it, they, it would run away, mm -hmm. but it would crawl under my leg. We became <laughs> friends. So yeah, it was just a lot of fun. And then um she saw there was a dog that was like leashed uh into a house on a balcony on a balcony and then he like craved attention like we were so there sad. and then he was like wagging his tail and <laughs> and so we, we were just like oh okay like uh so she went to pet him a little bit and then she had a little bit of cat food left so she gave it cat food she's like guys like he ate a lot of the cat food super fast so then she collected a bit of the cat food that wasn't eaten that the cats had, had were still eating. Yeah. yeah. So she took a bit of that and then she gave it to the to the dog and the dogs ate that. So she's like, I'm I'm really concerned for this dog. So then she goes around the houses, and to one of the houses, uh, at one of the houses, she sees that there's a bowl of food for I guess stray cats, 
that she takes the food she's like this dog deserves it like he needs it so she takes that food gives it to the dog and she's like he ate everything like this is uh, this is this is quite crazy like yeah. he ate everything so she was really into it and i just thought it was funny what was your favorite um well i think watching you eat like a 20 pound potato oh, yeah, that was good. um was was interesting for me i got about three bites of it i think we were sharing it Mm -hmm. um, before it was finished. Well, do you want to describe the potato? Okay, so you walk down this, like, interesting, like, street of just, like, vendors. Like, different vendors set up. Different vendors that sell exactly, exactly the same thing. Every single one of them sells these potatoes. And all of them, like, come here, come here, come to me, same come toppings, to me. Same toppings. Like, it's not, like, there's no difference. Same price. Between. Yeah, same price, same potato, same... So you get there, and they, like, scoop out this potato, and they mix it with cheese, and it's, like, all mashed and delicious. And then they put what? another potato <laughs> inside of that potato. No skin, just, like, the inside. So it's, like, two potatoes in this one, like, jacket potato. And then they go, okay, what toppings would you like? And there's corn and pickles and sausage and peas. Hot, some kind of hot sauce. And... Yeah, and, yeah, hot something. Yeah, and, like, peppers something hot, yeah. and all kinds of like there's probably 10 different toppings that they put in there like okay what do you want and we're just like we get there and we're deer in the headlights we don't know but we're like all of them okay yeah we're like and i think they, they did mention like do you want all of them and we're like sure, sure. yeah uh, so yeah so the thing is like massive afterwards and it's heavy it's like probably i don't know you were carrying it half a kilo to a kilo like it yeah was, it was a it was hefty dense. potato so we're walking to go to the place to sit down and I think before we even got to the place to sit down, like half of it was gone. A quarter of it was gone, a third yeah, of it was gone. Um, it's so quite then good, <laughs> we sit down and it was really good. It was delicious. Mm. But yeah, I feel like you, you made a pretty good dent to that potato. Yeah. It was interesting to watch. Everyone else got one as well, and they were definitely struggling with it, but <laughs> but not 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 my Oliver. No. But we did share. <laughs> I think the others had their on their own. I, I did mention though that I got about five bites of it. <laughs> Oh yeah, we didn't talk about the people on our tour. So, that's what I was gonna. That's what I was looking at you for. Right. Sorry. So yeah, it was. So it, I guess it's not really for Turkish people. Like it's just for people who are new to tourists. Turkey. Yeah, tourists who don't really want to do. Who want to do something other than like traditional touristy yeah. things there. And so it was us two, and then there was Harish, who, when we asked him, said he was Canadian. Like he <laughs> identifies as From Canadian. Canada. Lives in Toronto. Uh, but Bessie decided he was from Sri Lanka. And I don't know how she got that out of him. I don't know, because that was, it was before, before we, before got we there. came. So she was like, and this is Harish from Sri Lanka. And he's like, uh, never been Canada. to Sri Lanka. Yeah, he never been to Sri Lanka. And at some point we got further into it, and he's born in Switzerland. He's like, if anything, I'm, I might be Swiss. <laughs> but yeah, so but she decided he was from Sri Lanka. And I think it's so she can like have one from every country. Yeah, I think she liked having that because I mean she she said I was from well she said I'm from France and she, you're from Canada so she she didn't want to have two Canadians I think that was too much for her. Although she did have two Spanish people, but I think that happened afterwards. There was <laughs> they were late. There was no giving them a different country. She tried. <laughs> <laughs> and then so yeah, the two Spanish guys and then a gentleman from Singapore. Um, oh, we didn't talk about it in the French video about feeding the birds, but. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> we have so many pictures from feeding the birds too. Um, so yeah, so with Beste, it was just taking us around. So yeah, we took the ferry and then she showed us uh, that you can buy some simits, which is like this round bread. Kind of like a bagel but smaller, like thinner. L larger than bagel. It's bigger, but right. like it's not as dense right. as okay. a bagel. And then you can buy it for like half, half a euro? No, not even, like a quarter of a euro. Yeah, like a pound. It was like two liras. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, a third of euro. And yeah, and people do this of just, just buying one and then just tossing it to the birds, like little by little. And the birds get really, really close. They, they go crazy on yeah, the and, ferry. And, yeah, and so you can see, like, and you can see other fairies with, like, birds chasing the ferry. So that was quite fun. Um, but there was another part with Beste. Oh, right, and another part I enjoyed with Beste was she was telling us, because it was just about talking. So like we would talk about ourselves, but then she would talk about her. Uh, we would stop for tea every so often. She would talk about soap operas and like how grandmas communicate in Turkey. She's like, if you go on a date, like by the time you get home, your mama already knows how your date went because you know, everybody just talks. Um, Grandma's gossip, it's like a phone tree. Yeah, the phone tree of grandma gossip. Uh, yeah, the soap operas that were filmed there. So, like, soap operas that we would never hear about, but she just told us. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but yeah, one of my favorite moments was also we, we sat on top of the hill. Like it was getting like it was eight hours of being with Veste, so it was it was getting kind of long. Uh, but yeah, so we sat down and we enjoyed the view. And then she was like, Let, "I'm having a little game. I'll read you a uh, expression in Turkish, translate it literally, and you need to tell me what it sort of means. What, what you think it means? Yeah. yeah. And so the one I remember is fish fleshed. So if you say, "Oh, that girl is fish fleshed," what do you mean? And yeah, it's like that she's curvy. Like it's a, it's not a mean thing, but it's, like it's voluptuous. Yeah, it's a nice way of saying curvy. Yeah. Um, what's the other ones? Um, so there's one, and it's like for a couple that just gets married. It right. says, "May you sleep with one pillow for the rest of your life," or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it basically means like if you only have one pillow. If you fight with your husband, like you can't then kick him to the couch because you share a pillow, so you always sleep together every night mm -hmm. and have like a happy, non-confrontational marriage. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, that's the only that we went to. Those are the two that I remember. But yeah, so it was kind of interesting to me. Like, oh, okay, I guess you can take it that way. Um, so the expressions, but no, it was just a, a good day of just getting to know Istanbul, but through non-historic things like mm -hmm. non-traditional and i think we had a pretty fun group too like we were True. all fairly jokey and laughing oh yeah the the other <laughs> turk game right. so there's uh uh she was telling us that basically everything around so we were talking about marriages we're, I, we spend a good half hour talking about yeah. a turkish wedding and behind us there were some portraits or some pictures and she's like does anybody know who that person is and I go, I was like, Ada Turk? Because that's the only person I know. And she's like, yeah, exactly. She's like, listen, most of the questions in Turkey, if it's about a person, the answer is Ada Turk. It's like, he, he's our hero. Like, he's everything mm -hmm. to us. Um, and yeah, so then she says, with my brother, like, apparently her and her brother, uh, when they were younger, they had this game that, like, somebody would be, would ask the question, who's the greatest Turk? And the first person to answer, Ada Turk wins so it's not so much like do you know the answer but like who can say the answer the fastest yeah. uh and so then we started playing the game on the tour yeah on the tour and so she would ask it and i i got the first answer like i, I managed to you go got the it fastest. first quite a few times but it really upset harish harish really wanted to win yeah harish wanted to win so at some point i was like well i could ask the question so i asked it once and then harish kind of looked at me like what are you what and then Besta also looked at me like, what are you doing? And then she caught on and she's like, out of Turk! I'm like, yeah, you win! <laughs> so it was quite fun. But yeah, we were with a good group of sort of jokier, like, not... And yeah, we, we spoke to them as well. Like, it's not like, let's listen to Besta and nothing else. So like, yeah, we joked around between each other and but yeah, it was a good group. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was one of the things and I, we won a total of like five of things. Yeah. But the other ones are very are shorter. So like the the next one is the Blue Mosque, which is not really called the Blue Mosque. It's the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. Uh, but yeah, not super interesting. At least now. What yeah. Do you think? Well, I think it's pretty from the outside, but I think that there are so many beautiful mosques in Istanbul that it was like mm. when I first arrived, you could have told me like any of those mosques were the Blue Mosque, and like they're so beautiful that I'd be like. Oh, okay, sure, that makes sense, that checks out. Mm. But, like, it's a very specific one, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe historically it's important, but... And I think what kind of... Not ruined... Yeah, ruined it for me. Is just that it's under construction. So, like, one of the... Minarets. Minarets is under construction from the outside. And inside, like, the... Bunch of stuff is main, under construction. The main thing is under construction. Yeah. Or renovation. And they... I don't know whether, like, you said that you've seen this in other places, too. It was kind of my first time seeing it. When things are under construction here, they have, like, these tarps over them that pretend to look like what it would look like without the tarp. So if it's over a building that would have, like, eight windows, they've drawn eight windows so that you can pretend that it's still there. I mean, you said that it, it ruins pictures less if it mm. looks like it's there, but I don't know. I, it took away from the... Like everything's so pretty and tiled, and then just this big white. Yeah. So we could see like the, the sort of the edge thing. So like the the ceiling on the edge was really pretty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just I don't know. I I wasn't a big fan. The the only kind of interesting thing it was it was still a working mosque. Mm -hmm. people so were people there, were right? still praying. We're still using it. So it's not like oh you was using ancient times and that's it now. So that was kind of 
nice that it's yeah it's still working well and one thing that i thought was nice too which the citadel in cairo also does is like if you're not dressed appropriately they have headscarves that you can put on if you have like your pants are too tight or if they're leggings there's like a skirt that you can throw on um so and they have no cost yeah like, for, i think for free because then you just give them back at the yeah. end um which i thought was really nice so you don't miss out if you're like maybe coming from a country where you don't understand appropriate wear so i thought that was mm -hmm. nice yeah that was pretty cool uh and then the Hagia sofia so that was the next day yeah because, uh, yeah, we weren't really blessed with the best weather. <laughs> it's been cold and wet. Yeah. Um, so, the, the Hagia Sophia is now, so it's no longer working, it's now a museum. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I we went in, and I think it was the most expensive museum <laughs> that we've done. I think it was, I think it's the most expensive tourist thing that we did. Mm. Yeah. But, like, it was under construction again, so you would go in to sort of the main part, and the whole most of the left part is under construction and then you go upstairs and yeah. like half of the rooms upstairs are also under construction and you can't go into them so there was a lot of construction and then we're like okay we walked around the inside again lots of beautiful mosaics and tiles and calligraphy which you can talk about more in a minute mm. but and then we're like okay so we'll go outside and we'll walk around the mm. outside and at least then we can see like they show you a map of how big the complex. area is the complex is and so we go outside and we're like okay so we'll walk around we'll still get like our money's worth by doing that nope it's also under construction yeah. you can't really go around outside so i was a bit disappointed by that yeah but it was cool because you so there was one place again i forgot to talk about it in french video there was one place that you could see where the uh, byzantine emperors were crowned and then um, you could see, so it was a working, I'm not sure if it was a cathedral, basilica. It was a working basilica of St. Sophie that was then converted into a mosque. So when it was converted into a mosque, all the beautiful mosaics, they just plastered over them. I'm not sure plastered them. They just covered, covered them. Covered them, yeah. And then so, and then put their art on it. Um, but now it's a museum, they kind of, uncovered it a bit and so you could still see like the, the mosaics so if, it's a weird feeling of that you're in a church like in a, in a basilica but then you can see all this like islamic influence in it so i i don't know i thought it was a pretty cool mix but and it was also pretty neat to go up and it's not like it's not stairs it's just like a long corridor that mm -hmm. like coils so i thought that was pretty neat and there's two of them because we went down a different one Mm -hmm. And, um, but yeah, Hagia Sophia, it was alright, it was like historically important, but I don't know, I, I, I think the construction ruined it again for me. Yeah, but there was also like, there was beautiful stained glass windows that were so colorful that I really liked. Mm. Which um, was interesting because I've never seen that, like, and it was in mall. Arabic writing yeah, on it, stained glass windows. It wasn't like a holdover from the, the church days, it was mm. part of the mosque, yeah. Yeah. And the Arabic I really liked seeing the Arabic calligraphy everywhere because it made me question a lot of things because like this, they speak Turkish here. Oh right, because Turkish is written in the Latin alphabet. Yeah. Okay. So I was like, why is there Arabic everywhere? But obviously <laughs> like the Quran is in Arabic. But yeah, it was just neat to, mm -hmm. to see the juxtaposition of like, oh, there's like Mary and Christ. Oh, there's Allah. Like <laughs> you wouldn't normally get that in a religious mm -hmm. building <laughs> especially like in a mosque you wouldn't get faces whereas mm -hmm. here like yeah since it used to be a church you would get faces from what before it was a mosque yeah, it was interesting mm -hmm. and then after that yeah so then after that right after that we went to the cisterns of um Istanbul? oh yeah i think it is of um Hagia Sophia i think it's like part of it yeah at least i think it's called the cisterns of Hagia Sophia i mean i don't know I mean, you're making that up. You like to read signs more than I do, so you could be right. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was just going underground. And so it was nice and cool, even though it's winter. So it didn't really make a difference. I guess in the summer it'd be nice if it was nice and cold down there. But um, it was just, I think it was 300 odd pillars uh, in the cistern. So it was like a place that I guess would be covered in water or filled with water. Of course, it was not at the time we were there. And yeah, it was just to to see it so it made some really nice pictures because what they did so the pillars were, it was all dark but they were lit from the from the bottom and so it made some really really pretty pictures mm -hmm. but again with the construction like 
part of it was under construction. It didn't hinder it too much just because there were so many columns. Yeah, so you didn't notice it quite as much. And I mean, mm. with that one, I don't actually know what we didn't see because it was so dark. Mm. If like part of it was like blocked off, you don't really know yeah, you what see, was uh, behind it. It was a wall. <laughs> yeah. Like. So yeah, it wasn't too bad, that one. And yeah, there were the two, I guess... Heads of Medusa. Heads of Medusa, that was like the thing to see. Like I looked on the websites and everything, it was like, you need to see this because of Dan Brown. Well, uh, no, they said most of people go there for Dan because of Dan Brown's book. Inferno. So that could be something to, to see, but... So that's the next book you need to read. Yeah, <laughs> just to understand more of that. Um, but yeah, otherwise I guess the last big thing that we did was, was today. today. Yeah. You want to talk about that one? Uh, so today we went on a boat cruise down the Bosphorus, mm -hmm. um, which was like a longer version of the ferry rides that uh, we've been doing for the last few days. You kind of go further than our ferry mm -hmm. ride, but you kind of go out down past two bridges and then around and back. Um, and it was really neat. At first I was kind of like, all right, like we've done this, we've taken the ferry, mm. but then you kind of go past the places that you've been before. And then at one point we were like looking out, the sun was starting to go down, it was starting to get a bit dark, and Oliver's like, oh, I think I just saw some dolphins. And I was like, nope, I don't think you did. <laughs> and then this guy that was sitting next to us was like, no, I saw them too, there were dolphins. And I was like, what? So we looked out and sure enough, there was like four or five dolphins just like going beside the boat, jumping out of the water. <laughs> Also, it was freezing. Like, I would like to point out how cold it was on yeah. this boat. Um, but it was beautiful. So we got to see kind of a little bit when it was still lit. And then the sun went down. And then we got to see um, Istanbul lit up. Yeah, the, the weather was not that great. So it was not a great sunset. We had a better sunset the day before. Yeah, we've got some beautiful pictures of the sunset from the day before. Um, but it was a pretty nice day. Uh, sorry, pretty nice night. So just go up and down the Bosphorus mm -hmm. and see it lit up. Uh, I think the only, uh, you know, the, what was also better than the ferry is that it stuck more to the land. It's true. So like you could see the buildings better because the ferry would just like cross it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then we also did like the, the typical touristy thing. So we went to the Galata Tower. Yeah. Which Oliver. made a lot of puns about it. I made a lot of puns about yeah. it. Yeah. That's been the last <laughs> But you can't um, see it right now. So you're not allowed to make puns. Yeah. So you can't see it. So we made the rules. If you don't see it. Room. You can not allowed to make puns about it. Oops. Um, yeah, I broke. Uh, but then we also did like the Grand Bazaar and like uh, there was like two different bazaar. I don't know. It's it's a there very was... confusing area because there's like it feels like there's on the map it looks like two different bazaars, but like really they I don't blend know. together. But yeah. there's like a really really fancy covered one. And yeah. And then there's a, a less fancy covered one, and then there's just stands in the streets for several several but well, I, I i thought they were very separate because I don't, I'm, in my mind and on a map they look separate and then the other day we went from the covered one and we were like oh let's just keep going in this direction and we ended up in the other one mm -hmm. and i was like oh we, okay i anyway. think the outside vendors have kind of Blended filled them. that gap yeah. yeah they've merged the two together but it um, was nice i liked um i felt like it was more spread out almost than the egypt one mm. It, it felt less yeah you were less claustrophobic like we definitely got pushed around and there was a lot of people in there but it felt less stressful than uh Khan Halili, like than the mm. egyptian one um people would be like oh come to our shop i have the best things and, and then yeah, you keep you walking taste and that's things fine. and but i don't i don't know if Kyra would make you taste things i, I wouldn't trust I it that much. but i mean i didn't eat anything in this one either. true but it was like oh come taste have a look have a look yeah uh, and then the, what they also do is try to guess your nationality are you American? He's like, no. Nobody guessed French for me, so I mean, that's kind of nice. I've got Australian and I think, I think Canadian. I, I think I got a couple Canadian too. Yeah. I was pretty happy with that. I got Australian today at dinner. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Aussie? Awesome? <laughs> uh, and I guess the experience in the market that we also quite enjoyed was the uh, carpet. So I yeah. got Jenna carpet for for Christmas. A really pretty one. Yeah. And we, the, the way they did it, I thought it was quite, so we went to two different carpet places, but we preferred the second one, uh, which Hillary Clinton went to. So, I mean, Kofi Annan also, if you don't like Hillary Clinton. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he was really proud that both those celebrities went to him and he had a, a little picture or something. 
But yeah, the way they did it was quite interesting. So they would show you, they first they kind of asked you what you were looking for. Like, like the size, I feel like was the biggest yeah, thing. The size more than anything. And then they would start showing carpets and just putting them almost at your feet on the floor. Like, okay, here's another one, here's another one. And then Jen was kind of talking more about like what she liked. They're like, no, no, don't, don't, don't. She's like, oh, I kind of like the first one. She's like, no, 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 hold, hold on, hold on. Just wait, let me show we you have, all <laughs> the different styles first. <laughs> we have a system, is basically what they said. And they kept on taking, and like, I want to say, 30, maybe 20, 30 yeah, rocks. That's a lot. And then they're like, okay, now that we've shown all of them. Do you like this one? We, we, we start removing them. And then you tell us no, you say maybe, or yeah, or like, we'll make a yes and no pile, is basically it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no and maybe pile. No and maybe. Yeah. And so then they remove them. And then he thought it was hilarious. So he told us this anecdote of uh, a customer that he had like a year ago that would like classify the carpets being like that's a yes that's a no that's a no and then one of the carpets she's like that is a definite Def maybe and he thought that was the most hilarious thing he's ever heard definite so, maybe. the definite maybe and so no then we were left i think with about five carpets and then we're like well between these two uh, this, one's better. this one's better and then we whittled it down to one actually well, we were down to three for a really long time and then, so we got a carpet, and then you decide to get another carpet. Yeah, so. we got two carpets. Yeah. But they're very different. Yeah. One is, like, from, mm. like, an old camel bag, like a mm. saddle bag, but for camels. It has camel hair in it and goat and hair. And goat hair, which I thought you'd be all over. And it's orange. Yeah, there is a lot of It's one of the primary colors of it. So, and again, pink. I thought it would be good. And pink, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll probably take pictures of them in, this, in uh, Cairo because we don't we wanted to leave them in the package um, to, to like a less space. Wow, this is a long video, 26 minutes. I feel like this is double the French video. Yeah. Oops. Rut row. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we talked about everything. Yeah, now we're on the train, which we told you. Yeah, heading to Sofia. Yeah. And, but yeah, it's not done for Turkey because we are heading back to Turkey after, on January 3rd. Third, yeah, after New Year's. After New Year's, we're heading back to Cappadocia. And on air balloon rides. On air balloon rides. That should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I think we've put in yeah. quite a bit. 26 minutes is enough. I apologize. <laughs> so anyways, I uh, hope you all had a really good Christmas. Yeah. And I guess the next video will be done probably on the train again, January 3rd. Yeah, unless we unless are we more on the ball this time. Yeah. Anyways. Happy New Year's. Merry Happy Christmas. New Year's. Bye. Bye.